So when I was at the Sports Network, I used to write a column called The March to March. It was a bracketology column. Well, now I am bringing bracketology to YouTube. And quite frankly, I don't know if anyone else does this. So I'm going to try this out, uh, see how it works. I, I am also part of the Bracket Project. Uh, the Bracket Project is a website that uh, rates all the bracketologists when uh, the bracket comes out. So um, at the end of the year, you know, when the field of 68 is revealed, you can see how I stack up to the likes of Jerry Palm, Joe Lunardi, all, all those big names out there. So uh, this is my first video, my first entry of the season. Uh, I've been kind of putting this off. I've been wanting to do this for a little while, but I've been lazy. My bad. But um, yeah, I'm going to use this first entry to uh, talk about two teams. And uh, the first team I want to talk about is Monmouth. I love this team. I love him, and quite frankly, if they don't make, make the NCAA tournament, it would be a crying shame, because this team might be the most fun team to watch in the country, and I'm not even talking about the, the bench celebrants, which are just awesome. Uh, this team is led by Justin Robinson, a like 5'8 point guard, uh, 160 pounds soaking wet. This guy is so fun to watch, quick as a you know little jitterbug out there. Um, but it's not just him, you know. Uh, th this team's got some some capable players as well. You got Jalan Hornbeek, uh, an Oklahoma transfer. So they've got some talented guards. They like to push the ball up the floor. Uh, really, really fun team to watch. And, you know, during uh, pre-conference play, um, prior to MAC play, they went out and they beat some teams. They beat Georgetown on the road. They beat UCLA on the road. They beat Notre Dame. They beat USC. So... Uh, this team has some wins under their belt. Now, unfortunately, uh, because they are in the MAC, they are susceptible, well, more susceptible to having bad losses. And, well, they have three losses to teams outside the top 200. They lost to Canisius, which is ranked 211. They've lost to Manhattan, which is ranked 216. And uh, prior to conference play, they lost to Army, which is ranked 219. So, um... It's a team that, you know, I, I just hope that when March comes around, uh, they don't get left out. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be biased. I am going to put them in regardless, unless they just, like, completely tank. But uh, this is a team that, you know, I'm really hoping uh, wins their conference tournament. Because if they don't, uh, they're really going to be sweating it out on Selection Sunday. Um, and, you know, it's just a shame how the, you know, the smaller conferences work. But... You know, a team like this, uh, they don't really have any more top 50 wins they can get. So um, they, they got them, you know, prior to conference play. And, and now we'll just see how it plays out. So uh, if, if you want to look at Monmouth, um, they're, they're right now they're, they're 31st in the RPI, 18-5 and five overall. And despite, you know, all the, you know, comp despite the competition that they did play, uh, their strength of schedule is only 129, and unfortunately, the wins against UCLA and Georgetown aren't looking as good now as they did before, you know, conference play. But um, I'm telling you guys, if this team does make the field of 68, this is a team that can make a run. I mean, a Sweet 16 run. Don't be surprised. I, I love them. Uh, I love the way they play. They're fearless, and and Justin Robinson is a stud muffin. Uh, the other team I wanted to focus on is LSU. Oh boy, LSU, led by Ben Simmons. Well, first thing, um, I do think this is a team that is on the cusp of reaching their potential. Um, if, if you guys watched the game against Oklahoma on Saturday, I mean, that, that, that was a game that the Tigers controlled for much of the duration until Buddy Heald got hot at the end and helped Oklahoma slide, you know, uh, kind of steal the win there. Um, but but LSU, this is a team right now, 81st in the RPI. They're going to be, you know, struggling to get into the field of 68. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, if you look at their resume, you know, the Oklahoma win would have been huge because they only have one win against the top 50. One and three against the top 25, one and three against the top 50, five and six against the top 100, and they have three losses uh, against teams that aren't in the uh, top 100, NC State, Marquette, and Houston. Uh, their best win is a home win against Kentucky, 
And other than that, there's really not much there. You know, they got wins against Alabama, Vanderbilt, Georgia, Arkansas, Ole Miss. But but those are teams that are not in my projected bracket. So uh, I, I do think this is a team that will wind up getting in. But, I mean, <laughs> there's no, it's not a sure thing by any means. And the thing about this team is if they do get in, this is a very dangerous team. Obviously, you got NBA t- you know, caliber talent, not only Ben Simmons, but Tim Quarterman. Tim Quarterman's a pretty good player, too. Um, so, you know, I, I I think this team is rounding into shape, but, you know, they're in the SEC, and the SEC is a conference where, you know, it's tough to get top 50 wins because, you know, the conference isn't that great. So uh, they got the win over Kentucky, though, and that's huge, they, you know, that, that home win. But Oklahoma, if they could have gotten that, I mean – not that they'd be a lock to make the tournament, but obviously it would have gone a long ways towards earning a bid. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a team, man. Uh, those two teams, you know, um, those are two teams that I want to see get in the NCAA tournament because I think they can both do a lot of damage. So um, that's my first entry. Uh, I, I didn't really have anything prepared for this one. I Like I said, <laughs> I've been lazy and I've been, you know, kind of putting this off, but um yeah, so if you guys want to see the full bracket, uh, it's it's in the description box. I'll, I'll probably put it in the comments section as well. Yeah, I, I'm not going to like talk about it in the video because, well, you guys can just look at it. You guys don't want to hear me list all the teams and all the Cs. You, you don't want to hear that. I, I could probably you know, go on for 10 minutes about that. So um, this is my first entry. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like it. Take care.